because I am so excited for another episode of our This or That series. Last time on This or That. My personal opinion is I do like the better. Welcome back to This or That. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Joe. Well, hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing, amazing day so far. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video because I am so excited for another episode of our This or That series. Wow. No, not yet. Now, in case you guys don't know what our This or That series is, it is a series we just recently started comparing two guns in Warzone. And today's video is going to be the M13 and the Kilo, which both got actually recently buffed. No. I know a lot of people love to talk about stats and everything like that, but I will be breaking down some of the stats by telling you guys which gun actually feels better in gameplay, showing you guys clips and comparing different things, and then telling you guys which one I like, this or that. Now? Yes, now. Let's get into it. Wow. Wow. Now, if you guys haven't been watching the channel for a long time, you may not know that I used to love the M13 back in Verdant. That was like my golden gun. That was my baby. Before, obviously, the Cold War guns took over, the AMAX. That was before, obviously, the Kilo and everything else. But both guns got buffed. So let's talk about them. Now, both of these ARs are really, really low recoil guns. Now, the thing is, the biggest difference for these guns is the fire rate and really how the gun feels for you. The M13 has a little bit of a faster fire rate, but less damage, and the Kilo has a little bit of a slower fire rate than the M13, but will hit a little bit harder. So let's start off with the M13. Now, obviously, the M13 has a much faster fire rate than the Kilo, but the biggest problem that I see with it is obviously with the faster fire rate, it's hard to take on teams of two, three, or four. Now, I know that a lot of people play solos and things like that which this gun would be perfect for a solos or duos type gameplay once you get into those team-based games trios and quads i feel like that's where the m13 lacks the firepower is in those game modes one thing i really like about the m13 also is just how the gun feels mobility wise yeah i wouldn't say it has a faster movement speed or, or anything like that or aimed on sight but i feel like just carrying around the gun when you're obviously like sliding around corners or fighting from longer distances and you're having to run up to those rocks for head glitches or certain things i just feel like the gun just feels better to carry around and i know that sounds crazy but if you use the key low a lot and you use the m13 a lot some people will definitely agree that the gun just carrying around feels much better which can obviously help your gameplay a lot now let's talk about the kilo now i know that there was times with the kilo currently that i was getting two or three knocks with one clip and i feel like that's where the m13 can't really compare so i feel like the kilo would be better for those trios and quads game modes because there would, there would be times i'd be knocking two to three players with only one mag that i feel like the m13 couldn't do now with the slower fire rate i feel like you will lose those medium to close range fights that you may have to take with your ar Obviously, depending on what kind of SMG build you have, when you use a kind of closer range SMG, when those medium range fights come up, you're gonna have to use your AR. If you're using a Kilo, you may lose that fight to somebody with an M13. One other small difference about the M13 and the Kilo would be the bullet velocity. Now, me personally, I know the M13 has a faster bullet velocity, but the Kilo, I feel, just feels better to use. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I know if you're playing like a Rebirth Island or a Fortune's Keep, that the M13 may feel better, obviously, because it's pretty much closer to medium range fights. But once you're playing in Caldera and you're gonna have to take those longer range fights, I feel like the Kilo really excels when you're talking about those long range gun fights and being able to knock two to three people. So now, in conclusion, which gun would I like better? The Kilo or the M13? I would personally choose the Kilo right now in Warzone. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, Joe, didn't you used to love the M13? I did. That was my baby for a long time. But right now, I don't know what they did. But that buff to the Kilo just feels so, so, so much better. So, in conclusion, the obviously, mobility and stuff matters to me a lot. But I feel like just the overall feel of the gun, the Kilo, truly excels. If you guys are trying to bring out an OG AR that actually is nasty now rock the kilo thank you guys again so so much for clicking on today's video i hope you guys enjoyed another episode of our this or that series let me know in the comment section down below what guns you guys would like to see me compare next i appreciate you guys to the mood and back and i will see you guys in the next one peace dude dude bring that kamara around who is kamara
That makes no sense. I know. Oh my gosh. Look at how many people are up here, man. Like, I need those kills so bad. Good job. Yo! Blind you. How'd you know I was there? So I just full curled your teammate, which showed me a red dot, which meant double arrows down. Which means if there's the arrows down, that means that you have to be below me. That means I jumped down, I saw you fall off the roof. So there's no way that you could have ever crawled to the second story by then. It was the easy slide, can't you through the door and know that you're right there in the bottom right. It's impossible for you to be anywhere else. Map knowledge, my friend. Did he just break something? Dude, I feel awful now, wow. Poor guy done slammed his setup. This kilo is going stupid. This kilo is going stupid. With the ego chow. Ow, I'm bodying your whole team. Look at you guys. I mean, I. I
Am I good or no? Contact. KP, you're frying like that? Hey, GG, Joyce. Okay, yo, GG. <laughs> <laughs> yo, G-Freak. Hey, G-Freak and G's, boys. 